Hi, it's Dr. Robinson, and I'm going to show you, you have started screen share. that if you're a blind person, this, meeting this is, being recorded. is how you are going to insert your signature. Now, I just inserted a whole bunch of text, and then I put a blank line between a couple of paragraphs, and then I'm going to draw um, a line at the bottom, like you actually have to sign your signature on the line. Uh, if it's just a blank space, blank. okay, count your spaces. That's one, blank. two, Styles, comma, your headings, blank. so two blanks. Blank. You basically need your signature about mm, one inch tall, maybe two inches wide, and I'll show you how to adjust that. So I'm going to insert just on blank, um, and then I'm going to show you how to do it in a line. So let's go ahead and Alt N P, and it will land on this device. Alt N upper ribbon P menu leaving menu leaving menus leaving ribbons and C A R L R Y Carly Carly Car Pistols comma your headings change to match the new theme period. Yeah. Now, table in line with text button selected to move to an item. Okay, so this lines up perfectly if it's just a big blank space. But most often there is a line to deal with and they want you to place your signature on the line. So let's just escape. Not save. Not fit. Save. Read it. Left off. Dash even on another. Blank. And hit enter. 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 Yeah, I'm going to do an underline. Under. 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 Okay, underline. So this is pretty typical right here. Um, and I'm going to hit my home. Home underline. Now I'm going to tell you, uh, just find the underline and then you're going to insert it. Uh, but then you have to wrap your text and it's going to look very bad until you wrap your text behind the text. I always tell students, so you're on the line, so go up arrow once. Leg. Typically it's going to misalign it anyway. So after we insert it, I'm actually going to have you cut it and then redo it again to make sure it really is where you want. I am going to tell you, sometimes you will insert it and it will end up at the top of your page. Why? Eh, well, you know, it's technology. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Alt N, P. Alt N, upper P, menu, leaving, me leaving menus, leaving rib, C, A, R, L, Carl, Carl, Carly, edit unavailable, type and text, period, picture for graphic, picture for image. Now, it doesn't look too bad other than it's floating pretty high above that uh, line. And of course, if you're blind, you actually don't know that. But there's a couple of different things. As soon as you insert your signature, you really do want to take a look at the size. I'm going to hit my applications key and let's go to size. And position. Applications, menu, cut to move through items, proceed, leaving menus, cancel button to activate, press space bar, period. Okay, remember, you're looking for around half inch tall and absolute value. Always check your lock aspect ratio. Now, if I do an Alt A, if it was checked, it's going to uncheck it. But you can Shift Tab also, you can tab around this whole box. But you must know your absolute values. Uh, you can't change based on scale. It's, this is just absolute values, you must know them. So let's Alt A first and check to make sure Lock Aspect Ratio is selected. That means the way you signed it and you need to scan it on a scanner, so the background is a clear white and it will match all your white paper. Uh, and then you will have to have a sighted person crop that for you down to the correct size. Okay, so let's Alt A and check. Alt A, lock aspect ratio, checkbox not checked. The check okay. press space bar period. Alt plus A, cancel. So I unchecked it. So let's Alt A. Alt A, checked. Okay. And I know I can Alt E to start with my absolute values at the- Alt E, absolute item. radio button checked to change the selection. Press up. Okay, let's tab and listen. Absolute height, edit combo, 0.43. Point three, that's pretty good. You know, around half an inch, that's what we're talking about. Point three, that's that's pretty decent. Now let's go ahead and check the width. Absolute, absolute width, edit combo, 1.1 quote, yeah. to set the value used. 1.1, pretty good. Now, um, I have a really long name. So uh, I have, I think I'm almost up to two inches, but my height is not quite as tall. So uh, do really think about how long it is. Keep it below two inches though. So that is what we're talking now. Text wrapping is on here also. I could control tab here. Position tab, text wrapping tab selected to switch pages. Okay. And I can tab in and while I'm here, I can go ahead and do behind text. But I also want to show you that it is, is on your applications key. So go ahead and escape. Escape picture for graphic. Picture for applications. Menu cut to move W. Even menu. Wrap. wrap text list box in line with text button selected. And behind text is uh, B, but let's go ahead and down arrow. Sp type button, through button, top and top, behind text button. Mm -hmm. And enter. Document 2 dash word. Picture for graphic. Picture for image. Okay. Now. Table with text wrapping behind. What I'm going to tell you is control X, just in case. I'm going to tell you it does fit perfectly if you do that. If you go up arrow above the line, but you're just going to double check this, okay? To make sure it is not up in the right-hand corner or just floating around someplace on your page, 
Control X. Uh, and escape document two. Okay, let's go ahead and reselect. Picture for image two point two one. Control X. Now find that line. Blank. Underline. 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 Okay. Up two. Blank. Left off dash even on another device. Ah, period. I lost that space, so just down arrow. Hit enter, enter. twice. Okay. One, enter. two. Down underline. Down underline. Down underline. Okay. I probably now let's count one, Blank. two, Blank. three, Blank. four. A little bit too many, so hit usually. Blank. Okay, down, find that underline. Land. Underline, underline, underline. Go up. Underline, underline, underline. One. Land. Okay, make sure you go up at least one and paste. Okay? And that will put it above the underline. But uh, if you want it directly on the under underline, control. Nothing X. selected. Oops, control Z. Me. And then down here. Underline, underline, underline. Because remember, you put behind text so it actually looks like it's sitting on the line. So control B. And it uh, lines up perfectly. And uh, so that's how you do that. You just uh, paste it in. It probably looks pretty good, but it never hurts to do a control X and then just go ahead and do that again. But if you've already wrapped text, you can sit on the underline underline and paste it and it will paste it directly in there. So that is how a blind person can use their signature, their legal signature on any document. Okay, I hope that helped.